Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. Okay, well we are in the monastery, looking so monastic, it's crazy. Everyday Labors says that the start of the day is at 3 a.m., and at 4 a.m. is morning prayer. Okay. Go to the church for prayer and mass. And if I'm not mistaken, that's in here. Pretty positive that it is. Yeah. Pay more attention. Pay more okay. attention, brother. Siskin, we know. Yodok, what's your business? Greetings, brother. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yodok, the oldest of the novices. I hope you'll like it here in the monastery and that you won't get into trouble. Trouble? You're young, perhaps intemperate. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. I suggest you get to know the older monks. You never know when it might come in handy. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's talk. I'm to interested you. in the other novices. What can you tell me about Siskin? Oh. He's always got a smile on the new friend. But I reckon he don't belong in the monastery. He spends more time dreaming of the world outside than tending to his duties. I'm surprised he hasn't been thrown out already. If it was up to me, he'd be out on his ear right away. Okay. Sounds like you don't have much time for him. No, I don't. He isn't a proper monk and he doesn't belong here. Okay. Do you know anything about Antonius? Only that he came to the monastery voluntarily, because he didn't want to work in his father's shop. Antonius is alright. You can rely on him. He won't betray your confidence. He's always happy to help, which is more than can be said for the other brothers. Okay. Um... Yeah. I was talking last night with the brother Cicators. It seems you're to fetch them a cask of wine. Like last time. Hey, well, y yes, it's true. Okay, I'll give you I'd a hint. Like to help you. W w would you really do it? To get hold of the wine, we'll have to leave the monastery for a bit. I, I know it's forbidden, but we've no other option. If wine started going missing here, someone would notice. But to leave the monastery, we need the keys. And only the prior has those. Wait a moment. Are you saying I'm supposed to steal the prior's keys, so I can go and steal wine somewhere else? Well, you see why I don't want to do it myself now, do you? <laughs> I don't have what it takes. Okay. I, mean, I can't get those keys, but you could. Or, or you might be able to pick the locks. But you've done it once before, haven't you? Last time, the prior was sick, and he left the monastery keys in the Sir Cater's care. So they unlocked the gates for me. This time we'll have to steal the keys. Okay. All right. How can I get hold of the keys, do you think? I mean, pickpocketing I is the know, obvious chance. But it might be possible choice. to do this without them. Brother Solarius, the cellar keeper, used to be a burglar. He knows his way around locks, and, and maybe could help us, if you could find a way to arrange it. Do you think he'll want to take part in theft? No, but he could give some advice, or maybe get some lockpicks to open the gate. He'll figure something out. Okay. If you think so, I can try. Once you have the key or some lockpicks, come and see me and we'll make our plan. Okay. Uh, tell me about yourself, Can you then? tell me something about yourself? I would if there was anything noteworthy to say. But I'm just the ordinary son of a landowner, now a monk. There's nothing in my past, present, or future that anyone could find interesting. Uh, Why did you I join the monastery? Because it was better than living in poverty. As the youngest son, I'm not entitled to inherit my father's estate. But he was kind enough to sell off some cattle and send me here. And you know what? I'm glad to be here. It's better than mucking out manure. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Uh, okay. Who would you vote for as the new abbot if you could? I have a feeling you'll say John, but I don't we know. We don't have the right to vote, so we shouldn't get mixed up in it. I'm just interested, that's all. I like John better. Yeah, that's what I thought. But like I've said, it's not our place to get involved. 
It's enough that Antonius is mixed up in it. Don't you start too. Okay, all right. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Okay, I'm actually glad he doesn't have anything new to say. Okay. Game saved. All right. Let's go eat then. And by eat, I mean talk to the other novices. Govern his disciples with a twofold teaching. That is to say, he should show them all yeah. that is Antonius we've talked to, Siskin we've talked to. Oh, is Brother Solarius here? Peace be with you, brother. Yeah, and, and also you. I haven't seen this Solarius guy yet, so I don't know anything about what he looks like. Here he is. Praise be to Christ, brother. And also with the back of your head. I'm looking for something a little um, unorthodox. And what would that be exactly? Uh, lockpicks. I'm looking for lockpicks. Lockpicks? <laughs> and what would you like those for? Um, yeah, I want to practice. I'd like to practice opening locks, just for the fun of it. Well, why not? So you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lockpicks left. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lockpicks. Can't say fairer than that, can I? Okay, he does it for 16.3. What do I have so far as food? Okay, so I've got to really raid uh, this pantry in here. It's trespassing if I go in there, so uh, I shouldn't do it while everybody's here. I'll have to wait until this evening, uh, to say the least, so oops. In a rush to pray. That's right. All right, Lucas, you're the only I'm one Gregor, I haven't talked to? Novice. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. <laughs> you are? Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. Ah. Okay. I I can sympathize with that. I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. What can you tell me about Siskin? Not a lot. I don't know him. Actually, I don't know much about him at all. Except that he's not a stickler for rules. Okay. You really don't know anything about anyone? Well, thanks anyway. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone yet. Okay. I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. Uh, let me see what, what else he has to say. Not a yeah, just ask about someone else, okay. Do you know anything about Yodok? I don't. He doesn't like me, and he's on very friendly terms with the circators. That's about it. Okay. Tell me about Antonius. I'd like to, but there's nothing to tell. I've never spoken to him. I've never asked about him. Interesting. Okay. From him, more is required. Let him make no distinction of persons in the monastery. Yeah, let's tell him about this. In the night, I overheard the cicators in the cellar. They were talking about you. Oh, no. So it's still not over. This isn't a life and service of God. This is purgatory. Lucas, what's going on? What do you think? Just like you, I saw the cicators drinking and playing hazard as if they were in a brothel. Remembering the fate of Heli, the priest of Silas. The well-disposed and those... Okay, you could have joined them. Why is not to get mixed up in it? I mean, I don't want to say you should have, because he has his own personal convictions about it, and clearly uh, he's not interested in joining them. We'd be safer not to get mixed up in the affairs of our superior brethren. You're probably right, but I was naive, hoped I could fix things. Okay. I warned them if they didn't stop, I'd go and tell the prior. But instead of mending their ways, they vented their anger on me. Uh-oh. You've picked the wrong people to make enemies of, Lucas, he told me. Now, I can't even count how many days and nights I've spent locked up in solitary confinement for the tiniest offenses. 
or for no offense at all. Oh man, that's not cool. Ugh. That's not cool at all. Is there something I can do to help? Would you? I think all it might take is for you to go and sit down with them. Have a talk, set things straight, then they'd leave me alone. I'm afraid even this path leads nowhere. They'd probably start hounding you as well. I mean, if I make good friends with them, if I, uh... If I get them the wine and I hang out with them and all that kind of stuff, make them realize that I'm not going to report them for their wrongdoings, uh, maybe they'll see reason? Maybe? I'm not afraid of them. Brother, you have the courage I lack. May the grace of God be upon you. Okay. So I'll see what I can do about that for sure. All right. Tell me about yourself. Will you tell me something about yourself? I'm sure you've talked to yourself before. There's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Huh. That's very suspicious. If you could, who would you vote for to be the abbot? But I can't vote, so what's the point of worry? Ask Antonius. He often talks about it, and I'm sure he has an opinion. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Okay. Cicator Stibor? I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. I know. I saw you in the church during the ceremony. I have the feeling we'll be meeting again soon, and often. You see, I'm the circator. What does that mean? I make sure everyone observes the rule, does their work, and that everything's the way it should be. And when it's not the way it should be? Then we're authorized to met out punishments. But certainly you won't require correction, will you, brother? I mean, of course not. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Uh, I think we already... Are there ever any disagreements between the brothers? I thought we talked to him about this. Unfortunately, yes. The biggest quarrels right now are about the election of the new abbot. They can already see poor Peter in his grave. Ah. I understand. Okay, that's all it was. Okay. Yeah, I don't want... I want to uh, wait until after we've gotten the wine for him before that. I'll talk to them when they're in better moods. Okay. I'm interested in Lucas. Nobody knows much about Lucas. He keeps himself to himself. If you ask me, he's got something to hide. I'd keep well clear of him if I was you. Do you have any grounds for suspecting him of something? Quite a lot. And also none at all. The circators who make the rounds despise him, and they'd never punish anyone without cause. Well, that's just because he threatened to report them. What can you tell me about Siskin? Well, he's always got a smile on the new friend. But I reckon he don't belong in the monastery. I'm surprised he hasn't been thrown out already. Okay. I'm interested in Yodok. What could interest you about him? He's a no-good rat. He'll turn you in for the price of a turnip. I bet my life that if he wasn't here, he'd be a human scat, bowing and scraping for a few groschen. Well, that doesn't sound too flattering. Right. It wasn't meant to. No matter what you do here, watch out for him. He's got his eye on everyone, and he'll rat on you for even the slightest of infractions. Okay. What can you tell me about Lucas? It's a tricky situation with Lucas. No one really knows anything about him. I've tried so many times to talk to him, but he always backs away like a virgin on a wedding night. <laughs> okay. That's all. Thanks. So, I don't think uh, Yodok, as a rat, is going to be uh, who we're looking for. 
In the middle of the night, I saw the Brother Circators drinking and playing dice. How marvellous! Did you join in? More importantly, can I join in next time? <laughs> this game? I thought it wasn't allowed. If the Circators can, we all can. That's, That's not right. how it works though, is it? Sure. I know. A double standard. The Elder Brothers can do as they please, but they're the ones preaching about morality to us. Okay. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Well, that's all. Thank you for your time, brother. Okay. And then Antonius, I don't think we talked to him about anybody before. What troubles you? I'd be interested to hear what you think about the other novices. Yeah, all of them. What can you tell me about Siskin? That there's no man alive less suitable for the monastic life than him. You don't know young Lord Capon. <laughs> I've heard things. Siskin must have been like him. Fighting, drinking, fornicating. But then he ended up in here. Okay. Why is he in the monastery? No one knows. Maybe he's hiding from something. Or maybe he's being punished. I thought he said he was the youngest son of a lord. Don't we all? But unlike the others, he absolutely refuses to speak about his life before the monastery. That's all I wanted to know about him. Thanks. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, he was the son of a landowner and he stole the gold and the knife and stuff and he left... Um, yeah, and came to the monastery. We already know about that. What about Yodok? Be on good terms with him. If you show even the slightest hint you don't like him, he'll make your life hell. He's a slimy little pedant who will rat you out to the superiors. Once he finishes his novitiate, I imagine he'll want to climb his way up the ladder to at least Sir Cater. He's a man who enjoys ordering others around. Hmm. I'm interested in Lucas. No one knows much about him. He doesn't talk to anyone. He works, eats, sleeps, then does it all again the next day. It's as if he wanted to get it all over with as soon as possible. By it, I mean his entire life. <laughs> yeah. Right on. That's all. Thanks. Okay. Let's ask him about this too. In the night, I saw the brother Cicatus drinking and playing dice. And why aren't you spending your nights sleeping instead of creeping around spying on your brothers? I only wanted to... I know, brother, I know, but you need to understand that novices shouldn't be poking their noses into the affairs of elder brothers. I see. Even if something inappropriate was going on? Even then, I'm afraid. Who are you compared with them? Wait till you know what's what, and in the meantime, keep your head down and do what you're told. Life in a monastery is much like life outside in many ways. The monastery walls don't keep out human pride and hatred. Really? I thought monks were above that sort of human folly. Right. They became monks, Gregor, but that didn't stop them being men. Be on your guard as much as you ever were outside. Lies, jealousy, vengeance. They can hurt you here as much as anywhere. Thanks for the advice. Although I don't know if I can follow it. That's up to you, brother. Praise be to Christ, brother. Let's give everybody a break for a second. Um. Yeah. Is it possible to learn something about the other novices in the library? Only the abbot and the prior keep such records. Uh -huh. Can I see them? No. The abbot writes and keeps his records in his chambers, and only he and the prior are permitted to read them. Okay. I found this piece of parchment. It looks like it's been ripped out of a book. Do you know what it is? Hmm. There appears to be a page torn out of Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest lightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a heretical work. Wow. If he'd had his way, all such books would have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, 
tore it up and hid the pages wherever he could. Okay. Uh, you want me to put it back together? Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely. Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Good. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten, ten pages, pages, I'll be most grateful. Okay. Can you tell me something about the book? The Art of Love is a sort of manual instructing young people how to find and maintain love. It's a lovely work. I don't understand what bothered Eustace so much about it, but as I was saying, he considered the book to be immoral and tore it up to stop it corrupting any of his brothers. All right. Where should I look? I imagine everywhere. If I knew, I wouldn't have asked you to do it. Right, right. The pages of the <laughs> book could choice. be hidden anywhere. From the garden to the refectory. Oh, I don't remember if we found one in the garden. I found a few pages of the torn up book, but I still don't have them all. Wonderful. Keep looking then. I'm sure you can find the rest. Okay. Cool. Well, that's good to know. Okay. Go to work in the frattery. At the alchemy bench, eh? Nice. He's not at the alchemy bench. Oh, this music creeps me out when it does that. Brother Nevelis, monk. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Nevelis, and I'm the provost here. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means you get to leave the monastery? No, not at all. I just write lists and send them out. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, let's talk. Tell me about yourself. I'm the provost of this monastery. It's my job to ensure the monks live a humble life and that any surpluses go to the poor. Nice. But in reality, I spend all my time making sure my brother's gluttony and the construction of a new church don't swallow up the few resources we have left. Oh. So I wonder if he's the one responsible for telling them uh, putting off payment and uh, paying too little and all that kind of stuff for the construction materials. Uh... Yeah. I'm interested in the election of the new abbot. You're not alone. Everyone's so worked up about that, they spent no time considering how they could make the monastery a better place now. Why? What's wrong with it now? Many brothers think more about their stomachs than prayer. The older brethren bend the rules of the order to make them fit their interests. So, to balance the scales, they want the novices to lead exemplary lives. Sin abounds here, just as in the outside world. Yeah. Typical. What sins are you talking about? The scripture says, Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Good point. I'm sorry, Gregor, it's not my place to speak about the sins of others. Okay. I can respect that. Tell me something about how the new abbot will be elected. A new abbot has to be elected once the old one dies. All the brethren can vote, with the exception of novices. The abbot's crozier will be conferred on whoever is chosen and he'll take the vow. When he becomes abbot, a monk spends most of his time dealing with politics outside the monastery, instead of actually leading the monastery. But he still maintains a fundamental influence on life here. Okay. Can you tell me about Abbot Peter? Peter's wise in the ways of politics and a good shepherd, but as you've already heard, he's old and infirm. The other brothers see him with one foot in the grave, but I still have hope for him. But you, brother, don't let yourself get involved in the games of your superiors. Could you help me with something? With what? Uh, he just said not to get involved. I'm interested <laughs> in medicine, and I know there's a cure for the abbot's ailment. Oh. With your help, I could find out the details, and together you and I could give old Peter a few more years to do good. What do you say? Uh, what do you need me for? What do you need me for? In order to get the recipe for this medicant, a few rules will need to be broken. Oh. Now you know, most of the brothers believe every illness is a message from God, 
and that it's not our place to deny his will. I, however, think if God sent us not just illnesses, but also the medicine to cure them, then it's our duty to relieve people of their suffering. Genius. The cure for Abbot Peter's illness could be contained in one of the books in our library, but it will certainly be amongst the Libri Prohibiti, uh -huh. the forbidden books, those we aren't permitted to read. Crazy. Okay. Why are they forbidden? Because they contain occult and demonic practices, witchcraft and all manner of evil. Or so some people claim. <laughs> it's nonsense, of course. This is nothing but a book of medicine, albeit one written by a pagan. Uh -huh. Ibn Sina, also known as Avicenna, is universally acknowledged to be a wise man. But here, at some point, someone decided his book was the work of a Saracen devil and must be kept under lock and key. Since then, no one can even talk about the book. But the three wise men were from the East, were they not? Indeed. Absolutely right. Okay. Where can I find it? In the library, there's a large cabinet with a lock on it. The forbidden books are inside. You'll easily recognize what you're looking for. The cover has not only a Latin inscription, but also Saracen letters. Bring it to me. But leave the other books there. No one will notice if one book disappears. But if more were to vanish, someone would certainly begin to look into it. Which is exactly what we don't want. Well, my question is, if they're not supposed to read the books and not supposed to... Wait, yeah. If they're not supposed to read the books, who would be looking inside the cabinet anyways? Unless it was strictly to count the books and make sure none of them had disappeared. Strange. Is there anything you can tell me that would help? There's a key to the cabinet in the prior's chambers. The librarian should have another one. Or you can acquire some lockpicks. But I can't tell you where or how. Perhaps Brother Solarius could help. Okay, the prior and the librarian both. Why can't you do it yourself? Because I am one of the highest ranking monks here, and one day I'd like to become abbot. Can you imagine me crawling around in the black of night searching for a forbidden book? You could I mean, just sure. ask for it. Do you honestly think I haven't tried? Unfortunately, Librarian Cyril is a stubborn ass. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm ready. One more important thing. There's always someone in the library during the day. To pass unwatched, You'll need to go at night. It's locked, but I'm sure you'll manage to get in. Okay. They say Brother Solarius understands locks, but don't tell him why you need it. Once you have the book, bring it to me, and I'll then use it to Praise make Peter's medicine. Lord, we'll soon have the election of the abbot over and done with. Fantastic. Okay, so we I'm have more... I'm interested in the election of the new abbot. You're not alone. If... Why? What's wrong with it now? Many brothers think more about their stomachs than prayer. Uh, yeah. I'll be interested to know more about Brother John. I don't like to speak ill of people, but Circuitor John is the worst person the monks could pick to represent them. He's nothing but an old schemer and pedant who preaches water but drinks wine. Mm. He's won the older brethren over because they know he won't call an end to their debauchery. Man, I like this Nevelous guy more and more. He seems really practical, and he seems... Um, more concerned with the real reason that they're even in the monastery in the first place and I respect that uh, abundantly I'm getting to where I really do want to help him out in the why end. do you want to become abbot? because when I see the way things are headed around here I have no other option itinerant preachers speak of the corrupted black heart of the church and I can't deny there's truth in what they say. Amen. I'd like to change things and bring back meaning and esteem to the monastery. Oh, man, you've convinced me. That's all. Thank you. Peace be with you, brother. Okay, so we are going to try to uh, get Peter. What do you desire, brother Gregor? We can uh, let Peter. Um, live longer by helping him make the medicine and all that kind of stuff. But I want to see if I can help Is him. Is there any way I could help you get elected? Somehow tip the scales in your favor? What would you like to do? 
climb up the tower and shout, Vote for Nevelus! Vote for Nevelus! <laughs> yes. Not exactly. <laughs> you do have an opponent, John. John isn't my opponent, he's my brother. There you go. Just like you and everyone else here. Yeah, see? We're all brothers in Christ. Man, I like this but there guy. there is something you could help me with. You must know there's a great deal of iniquity here in the monastery. Oh, yeah. I'd be interested to hear of anything I don't know about. Ah, oh, trying to get me to gossip, eh? Should I find out for you what's going on around here? Let me make this clear. I want to base my candidacy on putting things in order. But if I don't know exactly what's wrong, then my promises are just empty slogans. Very good, then. I'll find out what I can. Thank you, brother. Oh, yeah. Gonna be a spy. What do you want me to find out? I'd be interested to hear about any iniquity in the monastery. I need to prepare myself for what I'll be facing. Okay. I want to see if I can find out uh, more stuff than what I already know, though. Uh, I'm interested in the election of the new abbot. Let's see. You're not alert. Why? What's wrong with it now? Many brother. Oh, okay. That's I did all. learn Thank all you. of it. Peace be with you, brother. There must be like one other. Uh, Praise be to Christ, brother. Dialogue option that I didn't click on somewhere. Okay. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. Okay. Concoct two Buck's Blood potions. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. Okay, here we go. One St. John's Wort, one Dandelion, one Comfrey. Start with oil. Grind the St. John's Wort. Put it and the Comfrey into the cauldron and boil for one turn. Leave the cool, add the dandelions, but do not boil. So that should be Buck's blood. Nice. Okay. Okay, Bowman's brew would work. It seems super simple, though, so I doubt that it will uh, be worth very much. Okay, two Eyebright uh, for three turns, and then grind the St. John's Wort and do not boil. That sounds easy enough. Bowman's Brew. Nice, we did it. We did it. Moonshine takes mint, but I think we have a ton of mint, if I'm not mistaken. And this requires distillation. Did it work? Yes! Moonshine. Okay, so let's... Let's experiment one more time. Okay. Grind the sage, grind the mint, right? Let's go three. Just to be sure. Because if it's still boiling whenever we distill it, it's fine. Oh, it's time for work in the other place. Let's not rush, though. Success. Okay. Now let's talk to Nebulus real quick. Praise be to Christ, brother. Indeed, indeed. Okay, uh, did we wait too long? So now I don't have the option. Talk to me, brother. To turn in my potions. Okay. Yeah, let's talk to him. I've heard there are some forbidden books locked up in the library. That's correct. They're here, safely hidden away from anyone who might be tempted to read them. Okay. Could a book be prohibited by mistake? Maybe a good book or a useful one? No. Errors are made. <laughs> Every book on the prohibited list wow. is there for a reason. Who am I to doubt the wisdom of Mother Church? Indeed, yeah, sure. How does a book get on the forbidden list? Forbidden works are full of heresy and blasphemy and witchcraft. 
If you ask me, we should burn them immediately, not archive them. Okay. I know the answer is no. What if I just wanted to take a peek? Could I? You could not. They are libri prohibiti. And the only people permitted access to them are the abbot and I. Although I see no reason why he or I would ever want to read them. Okay. Uh, let's cajole him. Not even if I were to beg or promise a favor in return? Hmm. If you could prove to me that you truly like books, then maybe. Uh -huh. I don't need to hear anything else. Okay. I've heard about Avicenna's book of medicine. Could I see it? Who told you about that? Of course you can't. Okay. I'm here to work. Good. This is most likely the first time you've ever done this in your life. But it's easier than you think. Just a bit of practice and learning Latin. Here's the original, and here are the blank parchments on which you'll copy what you read in the original. Is that clear? Then you may begin, and try not to make a mess of it. Okay, transcribe. Cool. Wow, I can barely see anything uh, written here. Maybe. I probably did it all wrong here. <laughs> we'll have to see. I couldn't even hardly make out any of that uh, script. He's scribbling pretty hard. I have a decent reading skill, I just don't know Latin. Basically. I've got the scholar perks and magistrate and all that kind of stuff, but nothing about Latin. Okay, so let's talk to him then. No, no, no. Oh. I can't believe you've made so many mistakes. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Can I try again or something? What would you like? We're a little bit past four, but that's okay. Prayer and mass. Yep, out of the way. Wise. Watch your step, brother. Okay. I forgot it was prayer and mass time. I thought it was uh, food time. That's okay, though. And this one's for how long? Six. Oh, what? Brother? Yeah. Brother Nevelus says that you didn't finish your work in the herb room. Oh, no. Have you lost your taste for honest labor? No, I tried to turn it in. I had other affairs that needed to be attended to immediately. It will never happen again. Really? Good. Fine, then. This time I will forgive you. But next time you'll be punished just like everyone else. Can't you see we're at mass? <laughs> yes, I can. Why did you interrupt me? I was standing here waiting. Thank you very much. Good grief. Okay, so we did get in trouble, which is not good. Um, because I don't know if he really will be lenient with this later on, or if we'll definitely get in trouble. I don't know if we'll be able to use our speech skill to get out of it next time. Okay. Now, I don't think anybody's gonna have anything new to say. Uh, but to be totally honest, I think this is a good place to leave it. So, if you want to catch that next episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.